Hey there, I'm the Warlock of Wi-Fi here with a new Warhammer 40k themed video. Today I'm going to show you how to take the day card PDFs provided to us by Games Workshop and convert them into individual image files that you can send to the photo processor of your choice using a program called Affinity Photo. Why would we do that? Well, it makes it very simple to send these images to a photo processor like Walgreens, CVS, Walmart, or Snapfish and print them off. I'm also going to show you the albums I picked up for holding my data card. Now before we get started, I just want to ask you to click the like button and possibly subscribe to the channel. It helps the channel in so many ways and it costs you nothing but a mouse click. I really appreciate your time. So let's get started. Okay, so the first thing you will want to do is to go to warhammercommunity.com and go to the download section for Warhammer 40k. You will need to then find the data cards that you want to grab. Now, usually it will say no resources found. You can click this recently updated and just change the order and then it will show up. You need to find the data cards that you want to use. So let's say we wanted to pull in the Eldari. So I'm going to click on download, and that's going to show you these cards. We can see there's 126 pages uh, for this. I'm going to go ahead and click download, and then you want to make sure that you save them somewhere where you can get to them fairly easily. So for me, it is going to be my Warhammer 40k data cards folder, and we'll just call it uh, Eldari. Boom. Now, with those downloaded, we're going to open up Affinity Photo. For those of you who are not familiar with this program, it is an alternative to Adobe Photoshop. While it does have a licensing cost, that cost is much lower than the investment needed for Adobe, and the product is fairly comparable. I'm not sponsored by Affinity Photo, but I do use it almost daily as my photo editor of choice. So now that we're in here, we're just going to go up to File and click on Open. And we go to the folder that we created with our little file inside of it. That would be here. Data cards. Aldari. Open that up. And you're going to get this PDF options page. Now, if you do not have all of the fonts, the fonts will be listed at the bottom of the screen. It is a great idea to go ahead and grab those fonts. Those fonts, I have found, are free to download. Just get them from reputable sources and you should be good to go. Now once you have all the fonts, just ensure that that load all pages button is one check and hit OK. Once it's loaded, you should see an artboard with all the pages listed. Now here we need to switch our persona, which you might be uh, thinking as a workspace in other photo editing uh, software. And that's up here in the upper left hand corner by default. We want to change from the default photo persona, we want to go over to the export persona. When you do this, it will change the view that you're in. And this view, you're going to see a section over here on the right hand side with your layers and your slices. What we want to do is switch over to the layers tab. And this will show those 126 pages here. In order to be able to print them off, we need to slice it. So Click on the first one, hold your shift button, go to the bottom, and click the last one so that you select all in that list. And right here below this, you'll see a Create Slice button. Click the Create Slice button, and that will slice all these images. You'll see the Slice icon out here under each layer. Switch back over to the Slices tab, and just under the list here, you should see the export slices. And as you can see, it's export slices 126. That's what we're expecting. Before we click this button, though, we want to make sure one other thing. Right here under export preset, mine is set to single PNG. But you have several options underneath here. You can go with single JPEG, retina, JPEGs, and PNGs, and all other formats underneath. I just go with a single PNG. And that uh, works out just fine with me. So once you've selected your preset, you click on Export Slices. It comes up. It'll put you in the default folder you were in. So for me, I'm just going to make a new folder called Eldari Cards. And we'll go inside of here, and that's where we'll export. 
and now the process will begin and it will start exporting these out as PNG files into the folder selected. After this process is over, you should have every page saved as an image file. Now you can take those image files to any photo processor that you want, whether that's something you have in your home or if you go to a third party uh, site. I've pulled up a couple here such as Snapfish, Walmart, and CVS uh, and plugged in a few pictures from that. You want to select the 4x6 size. That's the one that seems to work out the best for me. Uh, at the time of recording, Snapfish seems to have the best price at $0.45, cents, so that's uh, roughly $0.09 cents, uh, for each. You might want to change these to matte finish. Glossy appear sometimes uh, is prone to uh, fingerprint smudges, but you can get those through these websites. And at the time, you can see Snapfish is at $0.45. Cents. Walmart is sitting at $0.60, cents and CVS is sitting at $1.95 uh, for the 4x6 prints. Now, what's great about this is if Games Workshop updates just a single card, like, let's say they change the wording on the stratagem, no problem. You just go find the stratagem picture and print it right off through the photo processor of your choice. But again, 6x4 or 4x6 is my preferred method with a matte finish. That's the best in my humble opinion, but feel free to try out whatever you find and leave a comment below and let me know which one that you chose and why. Now, once you have your prints ordered, I find the best thing you can do is get a photo album that can hold the 4x6 images. There are many options out there, but I picked up a couple I like the best. The first one here, it's an Amazon um, um photo album. It's 4x6. holds 240 uh, photos. It does have this thing called a memo area, which I find the memo area is very useful in being able to record in the memo fields things such as uh, if you want to pick a particular loadout or you find a loadout that works out great, you can pencil this information in. You can also jot in point costs so you don't have to jump back and forth between the index and your photo album. The second one that I picked up was this one right here, and I wanted to have multiple uh, different colors, so they come in black, blue, brown, gold, gray, pink, red, white, and wine red. I went with red for my Berserkers. I went with blue for my Imperial Knights and Space Marines, and I went with brown for my Death Guard armies because I thought those worked out better now these do not have the memo section inside of them so you forego the memo section to have the picture front and i like the picture front because then you can take the images that uh, come with the data cards the ones that have the army image on them and cut it to fit so you now have a, a album that is very very well distinguished and easily to identify Again, these are just the uh, choices that I made. I'll post links in the description field of this video to these two different types. Those are going to be also affiliate links, so while it doesn't cost you anything extra, I do get a few cents sent my way should you choose to use them. So first, let me just say thank you if you choose to use them. And that's it. In this video, I showed you how to convert the Warhammer Community data cards for Warhammer 40k into images using Affinity Photo that should then be able to be sent to a photo processor. And I showed a couple of examples of where I keep mine. Please be sure to like this video if you found it useful and click the subscribe button for future content. Also, leave me a comment down below if you found this method useful because I'd really like to know if people out there are using Affinity Photo for projects like this just like I do. So until next time, May your dice rolls be true and your battles be legendary. This is Warlock of Wi-Fi, signing off.